Hey, it's Curtis Daniels again from Waterstep. And uh, I just wanted to show you something else that, uh, that we can fool around with. Um, back in the old days when we dug a well, we dig a well by hand. You remember in the old Western movies and they'd, uh, they'd you know, put some rock around it and they'd put a roof over the top of it and they'd have a wooden crank handle on there with a rope and a bucket. Well, that's how we used to get water out of wells when we dig a well. Of course, today we have hand pumps and electric pumps and different ways to get the water out of the, out of the well. But what if you don't have those? And, um, and you know, this, this well casing is only four inches in diameter. Um, we can still get the water out of there and we can do that with this BB01 baler bucket kit um, from Waterstep. And, and I'm going to show you how that works. Um, in this little box, um, we, one, we've got a hundred feet of nylon rope. Um, we, have a, uh, we have a check valve assembly uh, that does not have a spring in it. So we've got this uh, three quarter inch check valve assembly, a PVC male adapter, a bolt, and a pulley, just in case you've got that well housing and a rope and you want to pull that up like you did in the old days. So anyway, let me show you what this all looks like when we have all this put together. What I've done is I've, I've found myself a piece of three inch PVC pipe. Um, I've cut this one approximately uh, 30 inches long. Um, it can be six feet long or it can be one foot long. It can be whatever length you want it. Um, I put a cap on the bottom. I have, uh, I have put a hole in the bottom of the cap and I have screwed that PVC fitting I showed you on the inside of the cap and the, uh, the check valve, the foot valve, without a spring through the cap on the bottom to hold it in place. I've drilled another hole through the top, the sides of the three inch PVC and I've run this bolt through here so now I've got a handle. Pretend this is a bucket and we're going to lower this down inside the well casing. We're going to do that with a rope. And the baler bucket kit comes a hundred feet of, of nylon rope. What we're going to do up here on, the, uh, on this bolt is we're simply just going to put a loop around here and, um, and we'll just do a nice little knot. And I don't care what kind of knot it is just as long as it holds. It makes no difference. Just want to have a nice tight knot. Once you get it nice and cinched down there, just go ahead and loop a, a piece of that through. Again, and there we go. Now, this is really simple. We're just gonna, we're just gonna drop this down inside the well. And this is gonna be a pretty snug fit, but we're gonna drop that down in there. And we're gonna listen and we're gonna hear it hit the water. Oh, there we go. It just hit the water. So now what we wanna do is we all we want to do is just move this up and down just like that in the water and yep and it's working Lauren just go ahead and just keep bopping that up and down in there you want it to you're here you hear it slap in the water and when it comes all the way to the top there we can just let it see what we got in there Do we have any water in it a little bit there we go. There's water right out of the well. In the event that you have a hand pump failure or an electric pump failure, if you've got a baler bucket like this, that doesn't mean you can't get water out of the well. That just means you're not gonna get it out as quickly as you would with a hand pump or an electric pump. But there's still a way to utilize a well that's in the ground that has a broken hand pump on it, and this is it. Just kind of a recap. Um, the EXP50 is what we bored the hole with. The uh, the pipe it drills a five-inch hole. Probably by the time you get done drilling, the hole is probably somewhere around six inches in diameter. Um, you can successfully easily put in a four-inch PVC casing. That's what we did here today. Um, this is four-inch PVC. This happens to be Schedule 80, which means it's the the grade of the pipe or the thickness of the pipe, the rigidity of the pipe. You may not have that in country, but that's okay. Use whatever four inch pipe they have. Um, it can be steel pipe. Remember those steel pipes sitting in the water is gonna get rusty. So a lot of times when you pull the water out, it's gonna be rusty. Um, PVC would be the best thing to use. Um, we needed a couple of couplings. 
several couplings. In our case, we needed two. We're 20 feet deep and we put a cap on the bottom and the filter pack. Um, so you may need a cap. Um, you need PVC glue and cleaner. And, uh, and you're gonna need some gravel like we, like we showed when we, uh, when we backfilled around the uh, filter pack and the, and the well casing. Um, besides that, you need a lot of muscle, you need a few people, you need the EXP50, and you need a place to bore the hole.